Here is the derivation for gravitational potential energy. This quantity has the symbol U sub G, or in many texts, just PE for potential energy. The derivation starts with the work energy principle. The principle states that the net work on the object is equal to the change of kinetic energy of that object. The net work is the sum of work done by all the forces acting on the object. The work done by each force is equal to the magnitude of that force times the displacement times the cosine of the angle between the force and the displacement. When calculating that work, you must recalculate the angle for each force. Here is a scenario. We are lifting an object with an applied force against gravity while keeping the velocity constant. This means that there is no change in kinetic energy. This translates to the network being zero. Because the only two forces are the applied force and gravity, this means that the work done by each must have the same magnitude. Keep in mind that work is a scalar. The negative sign is not a direction, but merely means that as we give energy to the object through the applied force, it is balanced out by the energy taken out by gravity. The net force on the object is zero because there is no acceleration. Hence, we can derive an expression for the magnitude of the applied force. Because we are lifting the object, the displacement is the change in height. Then, we have the expression for the work done by the applied force. Note that the angle between the applied force and the displacement is zero. The energy we have added to the system through the applied force is referred to as 
the gravitational potential energy. The symbol used in many physics textbooks is U sub G, but in many others, just designated as PE. Here is an alternate derivation. Suppose we are applying a force to push an object along a ramp of angle theta through a distance d. Note that the change in height is then going to be d times sine theta. Alternately, d is equal to the change in height divided by sine theta. We can, once again, use our free body diagram and coordinate system to get an expression for the applied force. B. Plug this expression back in for Burke, along with the expression for displacement, to get the work done by the applied force. Notice that the angle of the ramp cancels out, and the applied force work, once again, just depends on height. Again, this equals the energy pumped into the system by the applied force and hence the gravitational potential energy. The implication is that regardless of the angle of the path taken, as long as the only force that produces work is gravity, then only the change in height matters in calculating the change in velocity and hence kinetic energy. In another video, you will learn about this application as the conservation of mechanical energy. For students who are taking physics with calculus, you can repeat the derivations using the integral definition of Burke, which is a integral of the force dot product with the path. The result will be identical as long as gravity can be assumed to be constant.